Welcome to the 28th annual Melbourne Arts Festival. This is one of the best arts festivals here in the area. It's very well known. It started early this Saturday morning with their annual Flamingo 5K. And this is a really great place to get a little bit of entertainment. Um, got a really great band playing right now. And um, there is art that just goes on and on and on. You can just walk and um, catch a lot of different kinds of art. So you might want to follow me and see a little bit of art that you don't normally see. All right, I'm here with Mauro. And this is some really unique art. Uh, I don't think it's anything with historic downtown Melbourne, but it does look very historic. Can you tell me about the art? The art, okay. This is um, material, first of all. Uh, all the work is done in clay. and do a sand casting from that. There are hydrostone fiberglass. They cause natural pigments used for fresco. So this is based on, of course, Americana. It's, uh, you know, the such liberty and um, with the people. You know, the yeah, okay. It looks like you've got inspiration from sort of all over the world. Most of my work is old world, um, that's the idea. The Egyptians here, for example, is uh, based on the, uh, Osiris and uh, um, yeah. so you uh, have drawings which destroy sections, I redid it, uh, did a, a different drawing and put it together and did a sculpture. Oh, I like it. I, I like this is a great technique, and, and this isn't everywhere. It's not just painting. This is um, this is an all-over technique. Yeah. It's a three-dimensional sculpture. Thank you. Okay, it looks like we found the food at the festival. There's all different kinds of food. Everybody's always excited about the food at festivals like this because it's a hot day and you need something to eat and you need something to drink. It all looks really good. I think we're going to eat some of it. Okay, I'm here with N. Caesar and can you tell me what type of art this is? Uh, it's 3D art, whimsical pieces. Uh, most of my pieces are Cirque Soleil inspired. Oh, I like that. Okay, and you're working on one right now? Right, I'm uh, working on uh, my children collection. You can see it right here. And I'm getting ready to uh, put a wire on him. Oh, okay, here, let's take a look at the children's collection here. So it's just going to climb the wall here, is that what right. it is? And the ropes are, are adjustable, so you can bring him up or down the wall really easy. Oh, that's very cool. So it's sort of a moving art, too. Right. 3D whimsical art. Okay. Now, what are the price ranges that you have? Uh, the children collection is $75 each. And then I have the adults, which are $125 each. All right. Great. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Brevard County. I have our future soccer players. You're, you guys all going professional? Yes. Okay. What are you doing here at the festival? Uh, we came from after our soccer game. And, and what, what is this that you have here? Uh, spin art. Can we see your spin art? Everybody show your spin art. Fabulous. And, and what is this in your hand? Uh, muck. Muck. What do we use the muck for? Um, at the end of our river, we have muck, and we're trying to stop that from the pollution. Is this real muck, or is this a representation? Is it a representation of muck? Yeah, made it. They made the muck, but it's not good to have in the river, right? Okay, well, thank you girls so much for showing us your art and the muck, and good luck with your future careers. Good luck. I am here with Ted. He's from Crystal River. He is the artist that we have here in this tent. And is this all sta stainless steel art? Yeah, it's stainless steel and uh, with a few copper pieces. Oh, great. Okay, now this all um, is an inspiration from the sea life we have here in the area? Right. I'm an avid fisherman and uh, also a diver and 
try to make what I see. So you see this up close and personal then. Okay, well, thank you for showing us your art and good luck at the festival. I am not kidding. The art just goes on and on and on down the street. You would think that you can't fill downtown Melbourne with art, but you can. There are tons of vendors out here and tons of different kinds of art. All right, you really got to respect these artists out here. I saw everything from paintings larger than me to small, tiny pieces of art. Um, a lot of it really unique, a lot of paintings that I kind of want to take home. So the Arts Festival will be open all the way through tomorrow on Sunday, April 29th. You might want to come on out and take a stretch down downtown Melbourne.